Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will review the finite difference solution of 2D Laplace equation. This equation is used to model steady state problems. For example, steady state groundwater flow or temperature distribution over a region. In this case, u is a function of space variables only. And on a discrete grid, its values are known at the boundary grid points. We can use second order symmetric finite differences to approximate the derivatives. Now considering alpha is equal to delta x divided by delta y and if we replace the derivatives in the Laplace equation we get the five point stencil expression. Here c is equal to 1 by 2 1 plus alpha squared and d is equal to alpha squared divided by 2 1 plus alpha squared. Since the values of u are known at the boundary grid points, we can rearrange the known values on one side of the equation and then write this as a system of linear equations. Suppose we have m points in the x direction and n points in the y direction on the discrete grid and we define k as the product of m minus 2 and n minus 2 since we do not include the boundary points as they are known, then A is a k by k matrix, U is k by 1 vector of unknowns, and B is k by 1 vector of known constants. We can solve this using Jacobi or Gauss Seidel method, which we have discussed previously on my channel. Please check those videos for more details on how these methods work. Let's look at an example in which we want to solve the 2D Laplace equation for the values of u which are defined within the domain such that x and y lies in the interval between 0 and 1. And here we know the boundary conditions for this problem. And for this problem we will choose the same delta x and delta y which is 1 by 3. We will use the basic Jacobi iteration scheme here. Boundary conditions are known, so boundary nodes will have these fixed values. All internal nodes are initialized with some guess value. In this case, we will use zeros as the guess value. Then we use the five point stencil to update the values of u in iteration one. And we can continue updating in each iteration until a convergence criterion is met. So if we visually picture this problem again, we have the grid where indices for x increase from left to right and for y from top to bottom. The values at the boundary grid nodes are known and we only want to find the values at the internal nodes, which are four points in this example. After running the Jacobi iteration, we find the solution in 21 iterations. With this, we conclude our video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.